You've seen it. It's beautiful. The Malka Concourse at Honolulu's airport. It opened to travelers more than a year ago. But it's a little stark, and there's some things that are noticeably missing, including places to eat. Max Rodriguez looked into what's causing the delays for a restaurant inside that multi-million dollar concourse. It's a story that's new at 9. It's a shiny new addition to the Daniel K. Inoue International Airport, but good luck getting a burger at the Malka Concourse. Food. More food. More food options. Yeah, there's um, not very much to choose from. Attempts to build a restaurant inside have gone on now for more than a year, and a build out still up in the air. Multiple agencies are involved in signing off on a building permit for HMS Host, the state's contracted vendor for the restaurant. And according to comments in the permit application, two agencies rejecting HMS Host's application to the city's DPP. The Honolulu Fire Department rejected plans on August 22nd after asking the applicant since January to show location of a K-class extinguisher typically used in commercial kitchens, as well as pointing out where the manual pool for the kitchen's fire suppression system, show the hinge exhaust fan, and pay a review fee of $747.50. Meanwhile, the wastewater branch rejected plans on October 19, saying it's missing a sewer connection application. Seemingly a back and forth between the city's DPP and the state's contracted vendor. This is like one of those moments where you really got to just break it down and say, all right, what, what went wrong here and how do we fix it for the next time so that this doesn't happen again? And I think that means diving into some of the department's processes and procedures. And the lack of restaurants and food options at the Malka Concourse is something that travelers are noticing. Inter Island Terminal, there's like not that much like food options and stuff like that because everything is kind of closed. So I guess that's something that like it would be good to improve just so that I'm not eating like just Burger King every time. A spokesperson for the Hawaii Department of Transportation telling us HMS Host is still working on resolving permit issues with the DPP. The DPP is now under new leadership working to improve its permitting processes. So I'm pretty optimistic. The city's been um, really trying to, I think, turn over every stone uh, at DPP. KHON2 News reached out to HMS Host Corporate for a status update on the application, and we will let you know when we hear back. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.